morning colleagues. Welcome to SCDC Info Tele News for Wednesday, March 6, 2013. I am Muhammad Najib from ICT Divisions. The headlines for today are SEDC will be participating in Career and Training Carnival in Cebu. Recertification of our quality management system will be held on 14 to 15 this month. SEDC Innovation and Quality Convention will be held in May this year. Now, the news in full. CDC will be participating in the Sarawak Career and Training Carnival 2013 in Cebu this coming Thursday until Friday. This carnival is organized by Economic Planning Unit Prime Minister Department in collaboration with the state government. The carnival will also showcase ESP, CAT and Scheme Latihan Satu Malaysia SLIM. The carnival to be launched by our Chief Minister will be held at Dataran Cebu Phase 2 behind Wisma Sanyan. It is expected about 200 institutions such as training providers, financial institutions and industries that offer job employment will be participating. On another event, SEDC will also be participating in Pesta Bungin to be held this weekend starting Friday. Kampung Bungin is a village nearby Spau. For this, SEDC will be sending a team from Entrepreneur Development Division to participate. The activities for the Pesta Bungin are Regatta, Nine Aside Soccer Matches, Sepa Atacro Invitation, Stage Shows and Sail Boats. Certification audit by Moody International on our quality management system. Staff are to be informed that the certification body, Moody International Certification Malaysia Senarin Bahat, will conduct a certification audit on our quality management system on 14 to 15 March this year. Staff are to ensure that all documents and records are in proper order and made available during the audit and quality procedures in your custody are updated. Further details on the audit program will be made known soon. SEDC Innovation and Quality Convention 2013 will be held on 14 until 16 May this year at Dewan Kenyalang. All divisions are invited to present their ICC or IIG project or improvement initiative to the management during this convention. The details format the pro for the projects or initiatives are explained in a booklet distributed to the divisional directors, acting directors and general manager of Sedide Senyan Mahat. For purpose of registration, all groups are to submit the details to the Secretariat of ICC at Innovation and Quality Division letters by 13, 30th March this year. Further inquiries can be made by calling the Secretariat Puan Hajah Jamila Fauzi and Enche Abang Muas Abang Hazmi at extension 124 and 127 respectively. We take a short break. You need one place for everything, like a magic pocket. Putting something in the magic pocket means it's always there, no matter what you wear or where you are. The same thing is true for computers. If you have more than one, keeping track of all of your files can be a pain. Solving this problem is one of the big ideas behind Dropbox. It's like a magic pocket, a single, secure place for all of your stuff. Let's meet Josh, who is preparing for a big trip to Africa. Right now, all of his trip info is spread across his laptop, desktop, and phone. He needs to consolidate it all 
and is tired of having to email files to himself or move them around with a USB drive. Then he found Dropbox, which creates a new kind of folder on his computers. These folders work hard to be exactly alike, even across Macs and PCs. By adding his itinerary to his laptop Dropbox, he can be sure the same file will show up in his desktop Dropbox and even on his phone. The same thing happens when he saves a document in a Dropbox folder. The document gets updated across all of his Dropboxes. But it's not just his computers. The Dropbox website also works to be exactly like his other Dropboxes. Anything he puts in Dropbox is available on the website automatically. This way, if his Jeep takes a dive and his computer is ruined, he can still get to his files on the Dropbox website, where they're always backed up. As it turns out, Josh's safari was a success, and his laptop made it home with lots of videos and photos to share. Instead of emailing everything, he just shared a Dropbox folder with his mom, so she could get copies of photos she wants to frame. Because it worked so well for travel, Josh made Dropbox the home for all of his stuff, so it's accessible anytime, wherever he goes. Whether you're traveling the world, running a business, or simply organizing your life, Dropbox means you can stop worrying about managing files and backups and get on with your next adventure. We're going to show you how to use Dropbox version 2 for your iPhone. If we open up our Dropbox application, it's going to bring us into our main Dropbox menu where we're going to view all of the files that we have sitting in our Dropbox folder. You see we also have it organized into folders, we have anything in here from zip files to photos to videos to documents to anything that we can throw into our Dropbox folder. From here, if we go, we can cycle through, we can see the photos from our camera upload, we can see any favorites that we have, and we can also come into our settings. Here in our settings, we can view our email and space used, we can upgrade our account to a Dropbox Pro, you see it's going to cost us $99 per year, and if we want to, we'll come back out into the settings. We can turn our camera upload on or off, which will enable photos and videos that will upload from the camera, camera roll right into our camera upload folders automatically whenever we're connected to a Wi-Fi. This is going to be great to back up your photos just in case you don't have them syncing anywhere else but your phone. We can enable a passcode lock, so every time we open up our Dropbox application, we'll be asked to enter in a four-digit passcode before we can actually use the app. We can also view Dropbox Help, which we can view frequently asked questions such as what files can I view, how do we play videos, how much can I store, how do I delete files, or even how does syncing work. Typing on any one of these will open up the question and we can view the answer to it. We can scroll through and get more information on the question that we were looking for. Coming back out to the settings, we can also view our legal and privacy information such as our terms of service, our privacy policy, and open source attributions. Down here in the bottom, we also see the app version. We can tell our friends about Dropbox, which tapping on that will initiate an email, or we can then send our friends a link, and getting them to sign up will also give us some extra space, some free space that we can get by getting one of our friends to sign up. We can also send feedback to the developer, let them know if we like the application, or maybe we had an error in the app or it crashed on us. We can always send the developer feedback by typing on send feedback. And if we want to, we can unlink this iPhone from Dropbox, which will sign us out of our Dropbox account and allow us to sign into a different Dropbox or also sign back into our Dropbox if we were wanting to reinitiate that link. Now coming back out to our main Dropbox folder, you see that we can scroll through. We can tap in here. We can keep going into the folders that we have built in here. We can view everything that are in all these folders. We'll just keep coming through these folders. We can come down to all these routes and you see that we can even tap on files and it will actually load it and we can actually see these files and then we have options down here on the bottom you see in the bottom left hand corner we can hit the share button or we can share this file via email a text message a facebook message or we can post it to facebook tweet it or even copy the link to our clipboard we can even favorite the item by hitting the star in the middle of the screen and then we can download the file and open in another application by tapping in the bottom right hand corner and you see it'll give us a list of applications that are on our phone that will support that file. Now we'll come back out, we'll keep going through these folders and you see that they even give us previews of Photoshop PSDs and then we can even view other folders. And if we come into say a, fo a folder that has 
a few different file types like this one has a few different video types we can come into different areas and we can view images so even if we tap on an image it'll load that image up and then again we have all of our share options we can favorite it and then we can even download this and save it to our photo library copy it to our clipboard or even print the photo and if we were to select a video we can tap on a video and you see we can even start playing the video that was in our dropbox and we can even scrub through it like we would a regular video and then we can pause and play it we can even post this to an email or any of our share options we can even download this video save it to our photo library or open in another application and then we can even favorite it or unfavorite it if we already had it selected now up in the top right hand corner we have the option to upload new files which will if we upload a file it will access our photos on our iPhone and we can select from any of the photos in our camera roll or even any photo albums we have on here we can even hit the plus button again and we can create a new folder in our Dropbox so we can get a little bit keep our organized system and then we can upload our folders and files to there hitting on the check mark will allow us to edit our menu where you see we can select folders and we can either delete them or move them to other folders in our Dropbox account now hitting on the camera upload we can save our photos to Dropbox each photo and video will automatically be uploaded once our camera roll has been enabled if we enable that we can enable our camera upload over Wi-Fi only or we can enable a Wi-Fi plus cellular so no matter when we take a photo we'll be able to upload it right to our Dropbox so for now we're just going to keep a Wi-Fi only you see it's going to find our most recent photos that have never been synced before and it's going to start uploading those photos and you see it's giving us a countdown of how many that we have left and it even gives us a breakdown of the days that they were taken you see down here in the bottom portion of the screen it also gives us an indicator on the tab down here in the bottom of how many photos that we have left to upload and then in our favorites we can see any photo or any file for that matter that we favorited and if we hit the edit in the top right hand corner we can rearrange the order of our favorites or we can even select them and remove them from our favorites giving us nothing in this favorites menu thanks for following along with Dropbox for the I hold on so nervously to me and my drink I wish it was cool and me but so far has not been good it's been shitty and I feel awkward as I should Welcome back. A briefing on pelupusan file rasmi PPES was conducted yesterday afternoon at Dewan Kenyalang. The briefing was done by officers from Pustaka Negeri Sarawak. Divisional directors and custodians of divisional files were present to listen to the briefing. A lecture come workshop on risk management. As part of creating continuous awareness and learning process in implementing risk management, Risk Management Unit RMU will be organizing a lecture come workshop on risk management at Dewan Kenyalang at 8.30 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. on this Friday at March. The facilitators for the workshop will be Encik John Wayne Chamberlain C. Rao, Head of Risk Management Unit and Che Deborah J. Benis. All divisional directors and acting directors together with at least two of his or her officers have been invited to attend the workshop. Confirmation for attending the workshop is to be made through the reply slip and to be written to Human Resource Development Unit letters by today. News from COPES as an annual affair, our cooperative COPES is giving Hadiah Galakan Pendidikan to children of members who set for UPSR, PMR and SPM examination last year. Members are to submit their application letters by 13 April this year. Human Resource and General Administration Division has issued a meeting schedule for Staff Loan Committee. The Loan Committee will hold a meeting once in every two months. The closing date for submission of loan application is two weeks before the date of each meeting. The Committee has had their first meeting this year on 
25th of last January. The meeting is scheduled to be held on 25th of this month. As such, staff who are applying for loan this month are advised to submit the application by 11 of this month. For the rest of the year, the loan committee meeting will be held on 25th May, 26th July, 20th September, and 19th November. The staff loan facilities comprise of vehicle loan such as motor car, motorcycle, bicycle, inboard or outboard engine, or board haul, household items such as refrigerator or freezer, washing machines and cooking store or oven, computer and housing loan interest subsidy. Further inquiries can be obtained from Encik Kanan of Human Resource and General Administ Administration Division at extension number 221. We have a new staff in the name of Encik Yusrim bin Yusuf who reported on Monday this week. Encik Yusrim is our new driver attached with our SEDC Miri Regional Office. He was here for orientation and familiarization exercise. He left to Miri this morning. Another practical trainee, Encik Hama bin Manji, also reported on Monday. He is pursuing a bachelor degree in marketing at UITM Kota Samarhan and will be attached with Agrobase Division.